Beverly, I think, sees right through to the center of someone very quickly, which is why, you know, in the tea scene that we see, she's so trusting because she can tell past all the bravado of Peter um, or of, you know, the fact that he was there to rob the house and he's got a gun and all those kind of things. She can see that there's a, actually a really good man there and it's just, she knows he won't hurt her because she just, she just does. It's an intuition. It's been amazing to shoot so much on location. Um, that's been that's been wonderful because it you you know these places have a um, you know you know real people have walked around in them and and a lot of the locations we found are quite old you know for New York so so that was great rather than it all being sort of created in a studio. It's been amazing and he really has brought something so special to it and you wouldn't know it was his first time that like directing a feature but at the same time he's coming from a wealth of experience of um, this industry and and being on film sets, which for me is really comforting because, um, you know, it's, I'm s still learning so much and have so much more to learn as well. But it's been, it's been a wonderful experience to work with someone who has such a vision but also is so willing to allow you to try and to create when you're on, when you're in the moment. And working opposite, you know, Colin, he's just, it just brought such a, I don't even really know what to say. It just, it was just, it was amazing. And he's really, he's taught me a lot and was really great. Just everything about it. Because it is both past and present. And it has a universal feeling of, of a never ending tale that every, every person goes through of a desire for love, life, and to be able to fulfill something in that, in, within themselves, some, something that they wish they could do. And maybe it won't be in theirs, but if you pass on the right message or something, it can be, others may have it. And that's a gift in itself.